of off topic, but I want to do a video because um, if you follow us on Facebook, I've been posting about Bobby. She has, um, she got Tucker's really sensitive skin. Tucker has some like eczema on his face right there. Anyways, she got his sensitive skin and so all down her chest and on her arms, especially in the creases right here and on her legs, she has some really bad dry spots, like eczema spots, um, kind of all over. And so I've been like trying to do my research on things that could like help her skin so it doesn't irritate her as much or things like that. And so I went to her uh, pediatrician appointment and said, hey, um, look, she has eczema really bad. And so her pediatrician prescribed, or not prescribed, but her pediatrician said, hey, try some um, Sierra Ve lotion um, and some Dove Sensitive Soap. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I went to the store and I went and got it. And that night, yeah, that night, either that night or the next day, I went and um, gave Bobby a bath with the soap. And, you know, I don't let her sit in the soap because you're not supposed to do that. So I wash her body to let her body just soak up the water. And then I did a quick soap wash and then rinse off and I got her out and I noticed her skin was so much like way worse way drier her red spots like her eczema was way more red than it was and I was like okay well this is not working and um and usually I would apply I apply coconut oil all over her um because I read that's really good for babies um or just for eczema and dry skin overall so I've been putting that on her but nothing was working and I've been like researching like different lotions and creams and stuff for her skin for like three weeks. The Sierra Ve it did work in the beginning for a little bit, um, but then I noticed it actually started to make it more red and actually kind of like crack. And so I was like, oh, is it drying her out even more? And I looked at the the ingredients on it and it said it has like alcohol. Like, let me grab it one second. Okay, so here's the Sierra Ve lotion I got. I can't even pronounce this, but it's like Ceterol alcohol and some, so C-E-T-E-A-R-Y-L alcohol. Um, and so I was like, well, alcohol is known for drying things out, so like rubbing alcohol. And so I was like, well, why would they put alcohol in a lotion that's supposed to like keep it hydrated? Anyway, so I stopped using that and I was like, okay, what other lotions? And soaps are out there and I realized well Tucker and I use goat milk soaps um, and I started using them like a while back fell in love with them I, re I don't buy like any more uh, store-bought soaps unless I like run out of my goat milk soaps, uh, soaps and I'm waiting for them to come in um, but then I really try to avoid it because I just hate I hate 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 store bought soaps because I don't have very sensitive skin um, but when I do since I have been using goat milk soap for so long when I do use store bought soap my skin actually does dry out and so I was like oh you know what I wonder if goat milk soap would help Bobby and so I contacted so where I buy my soap from is called Stone River Soaps fantastic a lot of people um, like who make goat milk soaps, you can buy goat milk and then make soaps, but Stone River Soaps actually has their, she has her own goats. And so she milks her own goats and then makes soaps from that. And so I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So anyways, so I contacted go or I contacted Stone, Stone River Soaps and said, hey, my daughter has, Bobby has really sensitive skin. Is there some, like, is there some unfragrant soaps that you can send to me to try it out? And so she's like, yeah. So she sent me um, what's called charcoal and clay. So it's a black soap. Let me go grab it one second. Okay, I'm back. So here's the charcoal and clay. So there's the charcoal and the clay bottom. Um, has has like a charcoal smell to it. Um, anyways, so she sent me that one. And I was like, cool, it's un unscented. And she's going to actually make some more um, because... They work so well. Anyway, so I gave Bobby a bath with this and I got her out and her skin was not as dry as it was when I used her Dove Sensitive Soap and it wasn't red. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not red. And so I'll pull up, I'll have before and after pictures right here for you. So the top pictures before where I was using um, her Dove Sensitive Soap under Sierra Ve and it was a lot red, a lot more like, like scaly and then, um, just one bath with her with this soap right here um 
that's what our skin looked like after and it was remarkable like the only thing I'm putting on after her baths it kind of looks gross but it's uh, coconut oil and like this um, tissue sensitive like green stuff <laughs> I don't know how to explain it um, anyways so that's a, that's the only thing is I put on after her bath just to help you know more with moisturizing and things like that so anyways I was like shocked I was like oh my gosh that is one bath that her skin looked remarkably better better and since Bobby does have really sensitive skin she has cradles cap really really bad like I would wash her with other soaps and immediately it would come back and she would just have look like she had dandruff for the bed and I was like I promise I'm washing my child <laughs> anyways and so when I used the clay soap to wash her hair I didn't use any baby soaps or whatever from the store I used the clay soap washed her hair it was gone like there's no cradles cap whatsoever and that was and it lasted like she's starting to slowly get a little little flakes and her on her head again not near as bad as what it was like after her bath and it was like the last time I gave her a bath was like four days ago so today's bath day again so I'm gonna give her another bath um, with her clay soaps but anyways her cradles cap is like gone like it's not it's not as flaky or as bad as it was with our other soaps so anyways I'm just saying goat milk soaps are amazing so here's some more that I have this is like a cinnamon kind um I'm not sure what this one is. I think it's raspberry but I'm not sure and this one is an awesome guy scented one it's Tabasco oil and um coffee grounds in that one but anyway so I'm gonna pull up right here um just some awesome facts um about goat milk soaps so Okay, sorry. My husband called me in the video. I <laughs> cut off. Anyways, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I was reading some of this facts. I'll pull them up right here. Um, but So I'm going to read them off this little paper because that's where I wrote them down. Anyways, so the um, goat milk so soaps have, I'm hope, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but they have alpha hydroxy acids, um, which are like lactic acid. So what they do is goat milk soap actually breaks down um, your dead skin and helps to wash it away um so it helps to remove dead skin what else yeah so the lactic acid helps to break all the dead skin apart and wash your body off and i can tell a huge difference actually with this like a lot of times when i have you ever like touched hamburger meats or gotten bacon grease on your hands and you wash your hands and they're still greasy like have you ever like i've had that where I would have to wash my hands like five times to get the grease off. With goat milk soaps, I wash my hands once and all the grease comes right off. It's amazing. And so even in showers and things like that, I will notice that my skin is actually smoother because it's removing all that, a lot of the dead skin off. And when it comes to Bobby's arms and eczema, it does the same thing. So it like, it will break apart all of her dead skin that was on her scalp and all the stuff that was sitting on her eczema and wash it away so her skin was actually really like it would like it squeaky it was like squeaky clean like no joke it was super squeaky because her skin was so clean um and then the other one is it contains vitamin a so vitamin a is really good for your skin and actually helps with um to repair skin tissues um and so back to, again to bobby um after her bath her skin wasn't red because it helped to repair that skin that that was irritated and hurting so vitamin a is really good um, to help with that it also helps um, to reduce wrinkles and skin acne so if you have really bad acne problems um, definitely try goat milk soaps because it does help to repair that damaged that damage because you know acne you pick at it and it like makes it red and it like hurts anyways I use goat milk soap on my face um, and I love it like I don't go and buy like all the name brand or high-end um, facial soaps because they don't work on my face they dry my face out and they make my acne way worse and so I always use goat milk soaps even on my face um, the other thing is it's really creamy so um, if you've ever seen goat milk if not it's really really creamy like think of it kind of like half and half um, it's really that kind of thick creamy stuff um, Anyway, so it's good to have the cream because it helps to not dry out your skin, so it keeps the keeps it moisturized with the cream that's back on. Um, so yeah, so it has it just it's just really creamy, really moisturizing, and it puts a lot of moisturizer back into your body, back into your skin. 
The other thing is it contains minerals. So it contains a mineral called selenium, um, which scientists believe that plays an important role to actually prevent skin cancer. So that's pretty cool. So, so goat milk soaps, these lovely bars, are super beneficial. Like they are amazing. Like, like I said, I don't buy any other soaps just because they don't work and they make my skin bad and, and my husband's skin dry and Bobby's skin dry. So um, I don't know, I, I'll pull up her before and afters again right here just because I was amazed, even with one bath, the, the amount, the huge difference there was. And so she's really cool. So go check out Stone River Soaps. I'll have it here as well as in the description below. Check them out. Um, really amazing. They're really quick to get your order out. Like I, um, for her clay soap, um, I asked her like, let's see, it took her probably like a day and a half, a day, I think to get, yeah, the next day actually. Yeah, it was the next day I got my, my order of her soap. And so anyways, they're just really amazing. So she is on Etsy called Stone River Soaps, um, as well as check her out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so if you're looking for good natural soaps that or even just soaps to help with acne or dry skin or irritation, check out Goat Milk's the Stone River Soaps for her Goat Milk Soaps because they help with all of that. And plus, they add a bonus, they smell amazing. So, like, I really love how good they smell. She doesn't use, like, really any artificial, like, flavoring, I guess you could say. Um, she uses a lot of, like, essential oils, which are also good, like lavender and lemon and a lot of things like that. So, anyways, check them out. I highly recommend them. They're awesome. And I'm just going to give a huge shout out to Stone River Soap because they have really helped my daughter's, <laughs> for poor Bobby's <gasps> eczema to like not be as bad as it is. And so it really makes me happy that I found something that is good for her skin, good for my skin, good for Tucker's skin. So again, check them out and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe because we're awesome and you need to subscribe. So anyways, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video. Okay, bye!